Hey you guys, namaste, this is me Diara, welcome to my channel and welcome to another pick a card reading. My name is Diara, I am an intuitive card reader from Germany. I do upload both in German and English just for those of you who are new and this is your 7 to 10 days prediction. So, um, you will find the timestamps down low and since you guys really liked it. I will do uh, the big spread again, all the 36 cards on the table for each one of you from the Lenormand. Um, thanks for the beautiful feedback. In order to make um, it a little bit easier for you, um, I will offer you three cards to choose from. Um, number one, number two, and number three. The timestamps, as usual, will be down in the description box. So I'm gonna give you um, a couple of seconds to choose intuitively. And I will start then with pile number one. Okay, for those of you who have chosen pile number one, what, what do we need to know about the next seven to ten days for you guys? Seven to ten days. Welcome also to everyone who's German or maybe from Switzerland or Austria. In other words, welcome to all my German subscribers, those who speak German um, and who are kind of cross-watching. Um, to me, honestly spoken, it's always like double workload to make all the readings both in German and English. So sometimes, for no special reason, I decide to upload only in one language. I ask for your understanding. Um, And yeah, let's just see. Just wanted to say that. It's not that I uh, don't like my German subscribers. Obviously, um, I have a bigger audience when I upload in English. I think this goes without saying. Uh, most of the people in the world do speak English. Not everybody, of course, um, but a lot of people. German, therefore, is only spoken in three countries. So this is why... I started once to upload in English, just for those who are interested, okay, just in order to reach more people. But I must say that I love my German community. They give always beautiful feedback. Um, thank you very, very much. Also vielen Dank für alle Deutschen und auch natürlich Österreich, Schweiz. Ich weiß euch sehr zu schätzen, aber es ist für mich einfach... Um, ja, manchmal schneller nur auf Englisch abzuladen, okay? So, uh, zwei, vier, sechs, sieben, nein, all the 36 cards. Pile number one, what do we need to know? The next seven to ten days. Mm, I don't know, I think you are waiting for, um, for something. You are expecting something. Maybe this has to do with a bigger company bureaucracy maybe um it could be anything actually maybe you are waiting for some special letter or maybe invitation maybe you applied uh and now you are waiting for the call back i don't see you dealing with love a lot within the next seven to ten days i think this is just not on your agenda um Okay, maybe, I mean, you think about someone, yes, that could be, but love is not going to be the main topic in your life. Remember, this is a general reading, number one, number two, this is just for the next seven to ten days, okay, so don't worry about it. I do see you waiting for something for sure, and I see that you are right now in a transition, Okay, you are transitioning from one point of your life to another one. And this is probably a bigger transition. This is not just, you know, like little things. This is really something major, something important. And you are thinking about it quite a lot. Yeah, you are kind of meditating about it. This is the contemplation card, Four of Swords. Um, you are figuring out your options also. I mean, it could be that you are already a little bit older. Let's say you are 40, 40 something, maybe 50, 50 something. 
And now you are thinking about whether or not to open up a new chapter in your life. It's not only that people who are between, I don't know, 16 and 30 um, are making important decisions in terms of their career and their finances and their life in general. It never stops, right? It never stops. I mean, so once we are living, um, we are on our way. And sometimes spirit is putting in some stones or obstacles, you know, and then we have to stop walking and, yeah, figure out how we can overcome these obstacles, um, so to say. And this is actually where I do see you right now. You are thinking about the future a lot. You are in the middle of a transition. It has to do with a big company in whatsoever way. I don't know. Um, and yeah, this is pretty much what I see, to be honest. The thing is, you as the uh, main person, this is you, you are laying at the end of the, the line. Okay, so there is actually nothing. There is nothing in front of you. And this is why I'm saying I see you thinking about the future. I see you thinking about what's next. I see you thinking about the next major action step. Uh, we have the coffin next to you, like at the bottom. And this is why I'm saying I see a transition. You know, like the coffin is uh, like the death. Card number 13, if this would be tarot, this would be the death card. And the death is never about a physical death, don't worry. But I think you already know that, guys. Um, it's always about um, something internal, okay? You are probably trying to close a chapter in order to open a new one, as I said already. Um, so I do see you transitioning. This is it, actually. There is not so much that I can tell you about the next seven to 10 days, because you will be thinking, you will be meditating along. Go out into nature, connect yourself with Mother Earth, uh, and also listen to your gut feeling, guys. Um, I think, I believe that we have all the answers um, inside of us. We just have to take time to listen. Yeah, and also um, one other advice for you, those who have chosen pile number one, um, this card is telling you that not everything that glitters is gold. So if you should get a pretty um, interesting offer within the next couple of days, um, think about it twice, okay? Really get all the information because sometimes the things, they sound awesome, like, hey, I have a great job for you, call me. You know, <laughs> um, but once you have a closer look, you see like, oh, no, not really. You know what I mean? So take a good look here. Whenever you got an offer, um, get, make sure to get really all the information. And you should probably not sign big contracts, important stuff. You should probably save for the other week, I would say. Okay. This is, you know, I, I would say that this card is like the deception card, the red flag card. Probably not so, I would not take it too dramatically, by the way. Um, it's just that, yeah, make sure to get all the information. And also probably know that, especially when you are thinking about a major change in your life, just know that especially when it comes to work, but it probably goes for everything, doesn't matter what, law, friendship, family, where there is light, there always is shadow as well. Just know that, okay? If you are looking for the perfect relationship or the perfect job, probably consider that there is no such thing as perfectionism. As long as it is a job, you have to work, right? <laughs> I mean, hello, welcome to the real world. So where there is light, there is always some shadow. Please consider that. Be open for compromises. It's not that I'm asking you here to lower your standards. Don't get me wrong here. Some people are always getting me wrong for whatever reason. I don't know. 
maybe it sounds a little bit triggering to you, but I just have your highest well-being in mind, believe it or not, okay? So just consider that, hey, there is no such thing as the perfect X, Y, that, you know, um, nothing and nobody is perfect. Um, and that's okay. That's just what and how life is, okay? So yeah, this is what I get. Um, let's just see, um, do we get another information? Just like a general information for those who have chosen pile number one. Anything else that wants to be considered here for the first pile people? Um, yes, I think you are expecting something good something awesome, something great. You are waiting for something, as I said, right from the top. And this is confirmation. This is the card that says, hey, um, have faith. Don't give up your dreams. Um, something great is going to happen. It's just not yet visible to you, but this is no reason to give up hope, okay? I think this is awesome. This is a perfect ending for this reading. Um, as long as you are realistic, as long as you know that um, where there is light, there's always a little bit sh um, shadow, you know, then only good things can happen to you because you are prepared, you are realistic and you are someone who is willing to cope with life no matter what. Um, yeah, so something great is going to happen, probably not within the next seven to ten days, but um, it's coming. It's not yet visible. But it's coming, okay? Pile number one, thank you very much. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Leave a comment, and I will move on with those who have chosen pile number two. Pile number two. So what do we need to know for you guys? The next seven to ten days. Seven to ten days. What's about to come? What's about to happen? What should you prepare yourself for? Let's go. All the 36 cards on the table today. Give me a second to lay them all down. The flip side of reading all the 36 cards is that it takes a minute to, yeah, to lay them out. Mm -hmm. I see commitment, contracts, uh, something is being made official, the ring next to you and the letter. Yeah, probably someone is offering you, offering you something. At least this is an invitation, at least, but traditionally the ring together with the letter card is about contracts. So it could be work is going to be important. Maybe we do have some cross watches from pile number one here as well. Um, so definitely some incoming good news. I would say these are good news. I mean, news and letters can also be a little bit more negative, so to say. Um, although we believe as spiritual people, there is no such thing as negativity, uh, you know, like black, white thinking, we should try to step away from it more and more these days. But um, to make it not more complicated than it is already, I feel like you may have been waiting for something, a good opportunity for a while. You may have put in a lot of work into it. It was not always easy. And now spirit is um, paying you back. And remember, this is for the next seven to 10 days. I definitely see something is coming in for you. Um, and yes, you have uh, put in a lot of work. It was not always easy. Five of Swords in reverse. There was a little bit competition probably always. Maybe you applied for a very popular good job and you have not been the only one. Maybe there were a lot of people. Um, and I think, yeah, chances are that they take you. I mean, I don't want to lean myself too far out of the window, but doesn't look bad here. Yeah, the moon, ace of coins, definitely something is coming in. For those who are self-employed, people will contact you, reach out to you. They want you. They want what you do. They want your work. They want to collaborate with you. Um, 
So also I see for those who are self-employed, who for those who have their own business going on, a good time finally coming back, you know, like doors are being opened up for you again. Probably the last couple of months due to the current ongoing economical crisis has not been that easy. Uh, you may have lost a little bit here as well, like money wise, energy wise, maybe illusions. Maybe you have been always very idealistic. Maybe you lost a little bit of it, but um, Spirit is telling you, hey, don't give up too soon. Okay, You're, this is not the end. Yes, it was not easy, I think, for none of us. Um, but um, and although you have lost something, you know, like you paid your, how do you say that? You know, like in Germany, we say Federn lassen. Yeah. Um, you had to, you had to compromise maybe at one or the other point, but now things are coming in again. And I love that. Yeah. Two aces here, ace of coins and ace of, ace of wands. So it's not only that money is coming back. Also your energy, you know, like your idealism, your dreams, your, you know, I mean, you had a vision when you started your business, right? And this is, again, for both of you, whether you are self-employed or not, um, I see spirit is coming back, you know, like dreams, visions, power, yeah, passion, Ace of Wands, it's about passion, you know, like the passion is finally coming back. And I love that. I love to see that. I like that. I like that spread. Definitely. Um, the ring next to the, to the main person is, to me, this is good. It's also like a cycle is coming to an end. Maybe you have been in a downswing and now upswing is happening again. Know what I mean? What else? Uh, spend some time in nature. Meditate. Be grateful. Think about your, your visions. Right? Um, send out your, your prayers. Always stay connected to the higher forces. And even if you don't really feel like it's going to be beneficial, I promise you it's not going to hurt neither. Okay? <laughs> For those who are still a little bit skeptical, like when it comes to the secret, the work, law of attraction, all the good stuff, you know, I promise you, even if you think it's not going to help, I say it's not going to harm. Okay? And this is where you should take it from. Yeah, definitely you have been through a couple of unpleasant situations. Uh, this is the cleansing card. There has been some detoxification as well. Do I see love being important for you? Um, not really, I must say. So if you are waiting for a love message here, I mean, I have tons of love readings on my channel. I can only again and again and again... Uh, repetitively encourage you to check out my video list. I have hundreds of readings out there, hundreds of readings. I'm sure there are a couple of them for you where you find your answers when it comes to love. This reading is not about love. No, mm -mm. I don't see that love is going to be that important. Um, any other message? Yeah, definitely here. See it? In between worlds, Tr change, transitioning. Stepping out of the shadow into the light again. This is black and white. This is color. And this is you. You are stepping from the black and white scenario, finally back into the colorful and the more joyful um, places. Yeah, beautiful. That's so sweet to see. I'm so happy for you guys, pile number two. Um, let me just... Um, See whether I get some more information for you guys. Is there anything else that wants to be addressed here? Let's open this up just for some general additional information. Discernment. Choose wisely. Listen to your intuition. Yeah, discernment is actually, it sounds pretty pragmatic, you know, like this world, this word discernment sounds very 
no? discernment. Um, but actually, it's all about intuition. It's all about intuition. Choose wisely. Listen to your heart. Trust yourself. Trust your inner wisdom. We have all the answers inside of us. Yeah, abundance. You are finally stepping back into abundance. And now look at that. This is the yes card popping out. And here we see don't give up. I mean, this is so beautiful, right? This is such a great combination. Yes, you are stepping into the light again. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. Yes, you have been through a lot. And it was not always easy. Maybe you have some bruises and scars, <laughs> right? Uh, but yeah, that, this is how life goes sometimes. As I said, sometimes there's a downswing and then there will be an upswing. And I see you stepping into the more uplifting energies again. So I think I leave it here, you guys. Thank you very much. Let's move on uh, to pile number three, pile number three. Pile number three, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Let's just see, what do we need to know about the next seven to 10 days? All the 36 cards on the table, just give it a minute until I have laid them out. It takes a minute. Let's just get pile number one and two out of the deck. What do we need to know? Pile number three, people. The next seven to ten days. Mm -hmm. This scenario is a little bit similar to pile number one. Maybe you have been drawn to the first pile it's the same position of the main character card second line last spot so you are looking into the future uh, you have a desire for love this is what i can tell you right away uh, i do see also um, some incoming news communication um, if there has been a separation between you and your person whoever your person is probably oh yeah oh, yeah 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 sorry okay this is worst case oh yeah 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 excuse me sorry i'm so sorry guys let me just rearrange the setting here okay i just wanted you to have a better look into the um huh, the spread but now i kind of destroyed it i'm gonna leave it here nevertheless um the most important cards are still visible at least to me maybe not to you but to me which is more important yeah I, so i see you and your person laying um corner to corner okay this is you this is your person uh, and they may have been some kind of separation or maybe some weird, awkward energies between you guys recently. I feel like it's getting better. Okay, I definitely see uh, better energies. Things are going to, how can I say that, level up in a good way, in a positive way. This is what I see. And this is in your interest because, yeah, you see, forgiving and learning, reconciliation. You want it. You want the reconciliation and I guess you will get it. Let's just see. Any other information about love? Oh, the true love card. Wow, this is big. True love card popping out. Remember, this is just for the next seven to ten days. Unfortunately, I may add, <laughs> because these cards are good. So yeah, so let's uh, sum it up again. Reconciliation, getting over a separation or all kinds of awkward energies like discussions, arguments, you know, uh, misunderstanding. Sometimes it's just a simple misunderstanding. You said something, they said something and the counterpart took it in a completely wrong way. 
So just talk about things, okay? Um, I see there's definitely potential between you and your person. If you have not a person in mind, um, probably you will fall in love. Maybe you will have a crush on somebody. Uh, maybe you're gonna step into someone totally unexpectedly, you know, like surprisingly, like boom, here it is. Um, and you have not probably even asked for it. Uh, sometimes it happens, right? Sometimes people, they have a huge desire and craving for someone, but there is no someone around. And then other people, they don't think about love at all. And then bam, spirit is giving it to them right away. You know, um, it's, it's weird. It's weird. And we don't have all the answers. Life is still a mystery, right? We can read as many Oracle cards as we want to some questions. There is no answer, right? Life is a mystery. Um, I see the passion here popping up again between you and your person, or as I said, falling in love, developing a crush on someone. Enjoy it. I would give you the advice to simply enjoy. Enjoy this lighthearted, juvenile energy. Enjoy the passion. Treat yourself with, yeah, just some good time, okay? Don't overthink the things. And uh, maybe usually you tend to mm, focus on work a lot, But I feel like the next seven to 10 days, work is not such a big issue in your life, but love is. So this is a little bit a, um, yeah, something different, right? Something different. And this is how it's supposed to be, right? It should be balanced out. It should be 50-50, job and love. What else? There's something better, helpful people and improved health yeah it's getting better to me it's you know like um another way of saying it's getting better as i said you will free yourself from um all kinds of you know like weird and toxic situation i don't see any tox toxicity do you say it like that at all here by the way often we have it like often I have to tell people like, oh, watch out, take care, be a little bit more cautious, but not in your case, mm -mm. not in your case. Lighthearted energy, loving energy, improved energy. Yeah, it, it, the card says improved health, but um, it can be improved health, maybe for some of you, but um, Otherwise, it's just like a situation is going to improve, which is always good. Yeah, look at this, the young card. It's all about male energies like fire, passion, temptation, seduction, in a good way, in a good way. The fire, the spark, you know, like the chemistry is popping up again. Yeah, like that. Like that. What else? Anything else that needs to be addressed here for those who have chosen pile number three? It could also be, you know, like <laughs> the situation, the moment when my cell phone like woo, kind of exploded. Uh, it could be that the situation is going to be like that, you know, like woo, you know, a lot of fire, a lot of energy, probably a little bit too much even for some of you. Maybe you are not used to be in such an energy. Maybe you are usually a very pragmatic down-to-earth person and now you will be like, woo, you know, uh, screwed up in a good way. <laughs> okay, oh, this is Serena. Your guardian angel for the next seven to 10 days is Serena. She's the angel of abundance isn't that beautiful she says to you hey you know what you will get the money you will get whatever it is that you are looking for for some it's money for others it's help it's health it's uh, friendship or whatnot you will get the abundance that you are asking for um, how this is going to happen is not in your hands it's in God's hands Okay, and so please, I would say, um, this is Serena telling you, you should allow the situation to unfold in a natural way. 
allow everything that wants to happen to happen. Try not to hold yourself back. Try not to be too pragmatic and down to earth, even though this is probably your, your natural character. But sometimes it's good to freak out. It's good to be a little bit crazy. It's good to walk off the beaten track. Um, treat yourself with this energy because you deserve it. And um, yeah, I think that spirit wants to give you something beautiful here. Um, and you can, you know, like give yourself permission to receive. Just receive. Just receive. Oh, at the bottom of the deck, we have Aurora. And Aurora is about... You are about to fly high. You are about to fly high. It may be a little bit scary to you or maybe others because you're not used to fly high. Um, but yeah, just treat yourself with this experience. You deserve it. And you may have been holding yourself back for a while for whatever reasons, right? Now it's time to step out of the shadow and to fly high. This reminds me of a bungee jump. Yes, it's scary. Yes, it's something that you may prefer to not do, but spirit is giving you permission to do it. You know, like speaking in a metaphorical way here, of course. I'm not encouraging you to do a bungee jump, but, you know, I think the energy is like that. It is scary. It is very, very exciting. You probably freak out the moment you stand there, uh, but... Afterwards, you will be like, wow, that was the most beautiful experience in my whole life. Can I do it again? And this is, you know, what I'm catching up here energy wise. You bungee jumping. <laughs> okay, so I hope this made sense. Um, I wish you only the best, you guys. Please share, like and subscribe. Leave a comment and I see you on the other side. Peace out. Namaste.